Pharaonic Guardian was released in July 2003. It was the first set to release an actual archetype into the game being Gravekeepers, and this would eventually become the conventional standard by which Yu-Gi-Oh is played today. Notable cards in this set include Gravekeeper's Spy, Trap Dust Shoot, Spirit Reaper, Book of Moon, Mirage of Nightmare, and one of the most powerful pieces of spot removal throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history, Ring of Destruction. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh Progression Series. You know, I should just pack up and move out now because I'm really feeling at home in the winner circle and getting to spin the wheel once more. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I want to see what I get. And I know you guys want to see some Pharaonic Guardian action. Looks like we're getting three more tournament packs. That's not too much of a surprise. We're going to go over here to the pack opener here. We're still on tournament pack three. There's nothing really too great we can get in this pack. So we're not going to be getting anything absurdly broken. Couple interesting cards, but let's see if we can get anything decent another pot of greed we'd have no shortage of those we got some tournament packs in the last episode as well again nothing else too spectacular we did get a rare you're not guaranteed to get rares in these packs so that's pretty good and another patrol robo so again nothing really too spectacular in these tournament packs that's typically the point it's kind of like when you go to locals and you get your entry packs sometimes you pull absolutely nuts but most of the time it's just kind of a freebie for showing up all right i've been saying it about every episode now but if if we're going to see some changes here before we get to Invasion of Chaos, this is going to be the set that we're going to see a lot of it. Pharaonic Guardian released July 18th, 2003. Pharaonic Guardian actually is home to a whole bunch of low rarity banned cards, and you're about to see them in just a minute. But first point of business is to talk about the one at the top here, Ring of Destruction, claiming one of the Secret Rare slots. This card pre-Errata is so nasty. This set is also home to a whole bunch of like actually really decent monsters, especially now. Things that could actually change our deck building strategy significantly. Cards like King Tiger Wang Hu, an interesting choice to throw into a deck, can throw off a lot of strategies. Tasuke Samurai is a way to get around flip effect monsters if they destroy them face down. Don Zalug is a super solid monster with a 1400 attack body, but when it deals battle damage, we can discard one random card card from our opponent's hand or mill the top two from our opponent's deck to the graveyard. Probably not going to ever do that second effect, but the first one is crazy. The books debut in this set, most notably Book of Moon debuts in this set. Probably just actually my favorite card in Yu-Gi-Oh of all time. But right below, you just can't ignore Mirage of Nightmare, a super rare card that's banned, which reads once per turn during your opponent's standby phase. Draw cards until you have four in your hand, and if you do during your next standby phase, discard them. Now this card's banned for a reason, it's broken, but also the fact that if we pop the card on our opponent's turn, we just keep the four cards that we drew. We go plus four, it's a pretty good day. Trap Dust Shoot is also in this set. We're gonna be able to rip a card out of our opponent's hand and get that important knowledge. It's a common, I fully expect us both to get one of these. The Grave Keepers make their debut in this set as well. Spy and Guard are the two most relevant. Spy just has 2,000 defense. When it's flipped, we're going to summon another Gravekeeper from our deck. And Guard, when it's flipped, we're going to be able to bounce a monster our opponent controls. Both of these cards just huge tempo plays. 2,000 is just too big to get over. Even 1,900 to some extent. Another banned card in the form of Metamorphosis. We did miss an important card like Thousand Eyes Restrict to summon from the extra deck. We still have a couple of cute extra deck monsters to blink in with this. But um, as the card pool starts to extend with fusions, this card only gets more scary. Wrapping up in the higher we got Rope of Life, which is like a monster reborn kind of nightmare wheel is going to help if we want to stick with that stun strategy that Aleph kind of devised in the last episode, really defined by the fact that we have Fairy Box in the meta. And then Lava Golem is going to be useful later in the game. But the most important card, deceivingly, is actually just a common, I think, and that is Raigeki Break. Discard one card, then target one card in the field, destroy it. Super simple effect, but this is going to be our first spell or trap removal that is actually going to be really simple to use. It's not Bait Doll, that's not screwed when we just flip up a fairy box this card will remove a spell or trap card and we can play the game i'm so excited <laughs> so now that we've given a good look at the set here let's actually bust them open because i am just itching to bust these open okay so there's a gravekeeper spy right off the bat really excited to see that i want to get a play set of that we also have ordeal of a traveler talk about playground Yu-Gi-Oh. man this is a throwback we maybe we'll play this i'm not too sure uh swarm of scarabs is also pretty nice uh it is a card that has to be flipped summoned 
successfully for its effect to resolve, but it can also flip itself face down, and if you successfully flip summon it, you get to pop a monster on the field. So if you get to keep it for multiple turns, uh, you can pop monsters every turn, which is cool. Needle Sealing is okay. Needle Sealing is basically a board wipe that destroys all face-up monsters if there are four more monsters on the field. This is actually seen play in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh before. So maybe, you know, if one of us wants to have access to more board wipes, we will play this. But other than that, not really too much. We did get a Gravekeeper's Chief as a super rare, but I don't think we're going to be playing it. Already a super rare barrel behind the door. Might not be the greatest of them, but it's cool nonetheless. Swarm of Locusts is another spell or trap removal that is super, super solid. And look, Gravekeeper's Spy already off the top. That's nice. Hopefully I can get three spy because three spy will definitely jump its way into the main deck. Without a card like Nobleman across out, it's just going to be a pain in the ass to out. Metamorphosis, that's one copy there. That's the one copy we're going to only be able to play. So I'm happy we picked it up. Hey, there's our first copy of Raigeki Break. That's what I was looking for. And a second copy of Royal Tribute too. Not bad. All right, so we're about a quarter of the way through. There's a big hit, Book of Moon. For people who don't know, Book of Moon originated in Pharaonic Guardian as a rare, and this is probably one of the best cards we could have gotten. This is such a flexible card offensively and defensively. We can use it to stop his threats. We can use it to reflip our flip monsters if we really want to. So many cool things we can do with this. Really happy to see it. And this is a very good pack. Gravekeeper's Guard is in this one. Oh, that is huge. Huge. This is basically Hain Hain, except it has better stats all around. 1900 defense. Very, very good. This is definitely going to make it into the main deck for sure. There's a terraforming. Terraforming will be very important in the later stages of the series when we start getting decks that rely on field spells. So it's really nice to pull that. Oh, there we go. Regeki break. That's the first one we've gotten. We still only have one Gravekeeper spy as well. So getting a little bit nervous on that one, but it's nice that we have at least one copy of Regeki break. We also got Trap Dust Shoot, which which is huge. This card is banned for a reason. Oh boy, this is like hand disruption that we'll actually both have access to because we didn't get confiscation or delinquent duel or forceful sentry and uh, magic ruler. So very, very nice to see that there. Oh, rope of life. There's a cool ultra rare. Not even a bad one either. This allows us to reborn a monster destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard and it gains 800 attack. So if our Jinzo gets outed by battle or something like that, we can uh, bring it back and it just gets a little bit more beefy. Reaper the nightmare and spirit reaper in the same pack. Oh boy. Boy, look at the synergy there. Reaper's just a pretty good metamorphosis target, actually, but Spear Reaper is a super, super solid rare. The fact he can't be destroyed by battles incredibly annoying, and if it also in sinks in battle damage, we get to pitch a card out of Alex's hand. Ah. Oh. The Great Dizard. Are you serious? That's like, <laughs> that's a shitty ultra. Not at all what I wanted to see. This card's poopy, dude. Another Book of Moon. Oh, and a Regeki Break as well. Wow, that is a very, very good pack. Not the biggest impact, I can say, but definitely getting these Regeki Breaks and Book of Moons, they are going to pay dividends in the long run. Wow, really? Fuchio Rishi as our ultra rare. That is so bad. That is awful. Oh my God. There are so many better ultra rares we could have pulled over that, but you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Coming towards the end here and uh, aside from some, are you really, really, really a second Fuchio Rishi? Oh my God. That is so unlucky to get duplicate ultra rares. Are you serious? It could have been great Dizard, like at the very least, so I could summon the other one that I pulled, but whatever. Second Gravekeeper Spy. We're almost done with the packs too. We haven't been too lucky getting any like good high rarity stuff, but um, the commons are like really important in this set. So the fact we're getting decent commons is okay with me. Third Spy and a King Tiger Wang who and the Trap Dust Shoot. I think that's the first Dust Shoot we've actually gotten really close to the end here coming in clutch. Pretty nice. All right, last pack of Pharaonic Guardian. Give me something good to clean it off. Ah, uh, nothing really. Uh, New Doria is okay, though. All right, didn't really get too lucky on the hollow front in this set here. Nothing like too crazy. No Ring of Destructions. No Lava Golems. Nothing like that. Even though there's nothing too flashy, we did get a whole bunch of really good commons that I am going to throw into the deck. And we're going to see what we can do with it. This is it. Our last pack of Pharaonic Guardian. Gravekeeper Spy, Regeki Break. Give me one or both. That's all I'm asking for. Uh, and I don't think I got either one, did I? I didn't. Okay, so 
Turageki Break, two Spy, I'm probably still gonna play them because they are both pretty good. We did get two Book of Moon as well, but honestly, our pulls were not the best out of Pharaonic Guardian. Our luck has definitely made a turn for the worst. So if Gage just has a average or maybe above average set of pulls, he's gonna be in a much better position, at least in these last few episodes than myself. But let's go ahead and get to the deck building. All right, here's what we're looking at today. It's completely different than last time. I feel like I needed to go with a completely different strategy if I wanted to stand a chance against Alex. So what I did is I actually doubled down on the stun strategy in the side deck of all things because I'm not sure what he's gonna do this time. And if we're doing stun v stun, I'm going to probably lose. But I actually beefed up the main deck with just a whole bunch of different monsters. A lot of them starring from the new set, Veronic Guardian. The three spy double guard made their way into the main deck. These things are just huge defensively, but also guards effect to bounce back isn't bad. This is gonna give us tribute fodder to summon for our uh, tribute monsters. Speaking of which, the tribute monsters are a dark dust spirit, which just got released. This card's pretty neat. Uh, if you normal summon it by tributing a monster, you destroy all other face-up monsters on the field. Bounces to hand during the end phase, which isn't even a bad thing because we get it back and then we can use it another turn. Parshath, Jinzo, still the stars of the show. They're way in the main deck and I actually threw in a tyrant dragon that we pulled in last episode. One of the two. I figured it couldn't be that bad to throw in a two tribute monster. The only thing I'm scared of is things like bottomless, things like a snatch steal. Everything's still out outs this card, it's not like perfect impervious monster. It can negate any trap that targets it, but Fairy Box doesn't target it, so. Other than that, other monster that made it in the main deck was Spirit Reaper, pretty good, and uh, Morphing Jar 2 actually returns from an older set that we pulled it in. Morphing Jar 2 is cool because we can just flip it up, reshuffle the board, and then we can both excavate and special summon things. I actually think my monster pull is better than Alex's, so being able to donk off pretty much just any searchers that I have, or any cards that are going to be able to float, is going to be really big, and Morphing Jar 2 who can definitely do that. We did miss a lot of things in this set, surprisingly, still. We missed Book of Moon, which was a rare card that I really, really wanted. Didn't get any of the power pushes like, you know, Mirage of Nightmare or anything like that. Oh yeah, Painful Choice has left the main deck also. Despite how good this card is, every time I activate it, I feel like it doesn't do enough. It gets better once we have cards that interact with the graveyard. Uh, you'll see a lot of that in Invasion of Chaos, but for now, I'm gonna throw it in the side deck along with Dark Lord Mary, which when it's in the graveyard, we're gonna be able to gain 200 life points during each of our standby phases. Hopefully, if Alex goes with that burn strategy, strategy still, this is going to be able to give us a little bit more of a fighting chance as we continue to gain, but it also pairs with a fire princess that we pulled in an earlier set as well. When we gain life points, we inflict 500 to Alex. So as long as we have this in the graveyard and a fire princess on the field, we can constantly keep Alex in a state of burn. That's going to happen every turn. Different dimension capsules also in this set. It's kind of like a gold sark, but worse. If they destroy it, the card stays banished, but over two turns, we can get whatever we want from the deck to our hand. So if we're really stuck uh, under like a fairy box or something we can't out, we can dig for it with different dimension capsules. Side deck is looking really different too. We have the barrel behind the door we just pulled. Three fairy boxes still on the side deck. Triple needle ceiling that we ended up pulling. This card's actually pretty good removal. Uh, if the board get clogged up like they have been, this is going to be able to sweep it off pretty simply. And then we actually pulled three ominous fortune telling as to Alex's one. So if Alex tries to go with that uh, ominous fortune telling burn with fairy box again, we've got two more to work with than he does. All right, I think I've said just about enough. Let's get into dueling. I'm feeling confident. I, I gotta stop saying that. I'm still feeling confident. All right, so here's the deck we're gonna be taking to today's duel. I would say there's about a quarter of the cards in here are different than they were last time. That just shows the impact that Pharaonic Guardian actually has. Still got the Exiled Force for the removal. We put in our double copy of Guard and Spy. Guard is just Hain Hain, but it is a bigger body, better stats, just all around better version of Hain Hain. Gravekeeper Spy though, man, and this card is crazy. It's a 2k defender. If it gets flipped, you get to special summon another spy. You could even summon a guard if you want to, but can put on a lot of pressure offensively and defensively, get you another body for like tributing into Jinzo. Just a superb card all around. Magician of Faith for the spell recursion, Mystic Tomato, Nimble Momonga, Sangin, and White Magical Hat. None of that is new. Book of Moon though is new, and this card is going to come in clutch. There's going to be a lot of cool scenarios that we get to use this, and I'm very excited to see how well it performs. Creature Swap, Dark Hole, Fissure, Heavy Storm, Still rocking the Mask of the Accursed. I think this is still a very good way to win the game if he doesn't access Regeki Break. Painful Choice, Pot of Greed, Regeki, and Snatch Deal. Then for the Trap lineup, Triple Fairy Box. Still rocking with this because this is just going to be such a pain for him to deal with, especially if he doesn't get Regeki Break, which we are playing two of. I feel like this is going to be a staple for both of us for quite some time. Didn't get the three, but I'm happy that we got two. Imperial Order for Spell Negation, Torrential Tribute, two copies of Trap Dust Shoot. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what you're thinking. So Simo from the future,
future here. I just want to address this now because I accidentally was playing multiple copies of a banned card in my deck. The reason for this was because when I was doing research for today's duel, I was looking at deck lists from the 2003 World Championship to see if there were any cards that I might have missed out of Pharaonic Guardian. And as it turns out back then, Trap Dust Shoot actually didn't have any limitation on it. It hadn't made its way onto any sort of Forbidden and Limited list at the time. And so as a result of that, I ended up playing multiple copies in my deck and psychologically, I was thinking that this was okay. I just want to address this now because I realized it and I feel bad about it, but it was completely unintentional. I only resolve it once in a game, if at all. So it did not matter in the slightest, but I just wanted to apologize. Mistakes happen. I wasn't trying to do it maliciously or to get a leg up. It was purely an oversight. And so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the episode. And then one trap hole. We actually cut bottomless. I threw it into the side deck because most of the cards he's going to be playing um, are actually under 1500 attack. I think the only real targets for this are Bazoo the Soul Eater, Gemini Elf, and Aeronite Parshaf. And I have so much removal for the rest of those that I'm not really too concerned. So we'll see if I regret this. If it doesn't go well, I can always side them back in. Side deck is also fairly uh, similar to before. I put Marauding Captain into the side because I don't really have a lot of warriors that synergize with this. Yeah, it gives me an extra summon, but when the rest of my monsters aren't really like that good to summon out, it's not the best card. So I just threw it into the side for now. Double Swarm of Locusts though is really big. If we get to a very, very slow grindy game, this is actually spell and trap removal and it's every single turn if we can keep flipping it up. So I wanted to throw that into the side just in case. We got the Cold Wave. I upstarts in here just so I can put it back in the main deck at some point. Three Magic Drain, the three Needle Ceiling. We also have Ominous Fortune Telling. It came in clutch last time. It was incredible. I have to play it again. We're not going to make you guys wait any longer. It is time to duel. So Gage, Pharaonic Guardian. This was an interesting one. That's for sure. Yeah, it was interesting. I'll say, I don't know. Um, I, again, I hate spoiling too much before I tell you. I just don't want to tell you what I got or what I didn't get. So, I mean, do you have anything you want to input before I just absolutely crush you here? Well, the fact that you didn't send me a text before we started saying it's over for you leads me to believe that you didn't pull as good as you have before, <laughs> unless you're really downplaying it. But I agree. Let's just get into it. Right. Uh, there, there's too much. Ag Man, you just need to, you need to figure it out. I, you used to I, always beat me at RPS too. What happened? <laughs> yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, every time Gage and I play off camera, I will always win rock, paper, scissors. So it, it's a miracle truly that he has won every single rock. Yeah. Paper, and I've managed to lose every match too. So I <laughs> <laughs> Well, good luck, buddy. Good luck, uh, we're going to fire off a pot of greed. Wow, you're just the best duelist in the game. Aren't I? I would like to think. Oh, my God. Never mind. Oh, no. Why did that happen? That makes things very annoying now. I will set a monster and set a face down. Go ahead. All right, cool. Whatever plans I'm sure you had, I'm glad they were foiled. <laughs> so I'm going to go stand by me. I, I can't wait for you to game. watch this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to set a monster, and I'm going to mimic your board here. I'm going to set a back row. I'll pass. I'm going to draw. I hate this. There's so many things that that can be now. I will just set a monster. I will set another face down, and I will pass. I'll draw. Whew. Thrilling gameplay. Um, Playing the slow game, of course. All right, you know what? I'll get a little bit aggressive because I'm not down okay. to play this stun game. I'm going to start by flipping up my Gravekeeper's Guard. Sure. And I'm going to activate the effect. I'm going to target the one that you first set. Okay. Right. That's a hand. I'm going to tribute my guard, and I'm going to go right uh -oh. out the gate with Air Knight Parshath. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was Jinzo for a second. No, I was no, like, no, no. Man. Oh, man, that would be crazy. Could you imagine? <laughs> Parshat's still really good. I'm not downplaying that <laughs> at all. But Oh, man, Alex, I'm scared. Did you put Spy in your deck? I can't beat over a Spy with this. I mean, there's a lot of things you can beat over, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think if you had the Spy, that would have been the first thing you set. So I'm going to go Battle Phase. We're going to see what this is. Well, joke's on you because it is a Spy. God! Oh, man, I almost had the meta play there. Oh, I'll take the 100. I am going to, this is going to give away a lot. I'm going to get a copy of Guard. Okay, all right. Got your own copy of Guard. It's just a swole Hain Hain. Oh, he's just big. I'll activate Fissure. 
So if you got your Book of Moon, flip it now, buddy. I'm going to I'm gonna let that go. Okay, cool. I'll just pass. So I'm going to draw. That is probably the worst draw in the deck. I Actually, like that. that might not be true. I might make you cry here, oh, potentially. Okay, uh-oh. I'm going to switch my spy to attack mode. Weird flex, okay. I am going to creature swap. Oh, shit. Um... <laughs> I do have a response. Do you have a magic drain? I don't have a magic drain, but I do have a regeki break. Okay. I will pitch my tomato and I'll pop your spy. Okay, so that's gonna put a damper on my plan. So my spy goes, creature swap actually fizzles unfortunately. So I'm not going to get to just deck you with Parshath. Which I'm would okay have been... with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you are okay with that. I will go ahead and set a monster and pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. I'm still kind of scared of your TT if you have it. I'm scared of your Parshath and I know you have it. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll go battle phase. I'll try to play around TT. I'm going to attack into that. All right, so I'm going to flip up fairy box. Oh, shit. All right. What and then I'm going to flip up a second fairy box. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Okay, we doing double heads? We're doing double heads, All of right. course. I had to bait out the Regeki break. So, uh, oh, there's oh, a tail. There's one. All right, 50-50. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's going to go to zero. It is my Gravekeeper's Guard. Damn, that's a good one, too. So I'm going to take it is. 1,900. And then we're going to bounce that Parshath back to your hand. That's where he will go. All right. I'll go main phase two. I will set two. I'll pass. Okay. So we're going to draw. I'm only going to pay the cost for one. Okay. So I'm going to let one go. See, now I'm afraid if you have a spy. All right. I'm going to normal summon Mystic Tomato. How many, how many possible bad outcomes are there here? Tons. If it's a germ, you'll have two germs. Ah, but it's even on, am I even on germ anymore? That's the thing. I don't know. I feel like your germ's too good for you not to be on. Let's do this. All right. We're going to put guard to attack. Let's right. see what the set is. Right. Show me the spy. It's Sangin. So I'm going to get okay. that Sangin search. I'll pick up a witch. Just rotating one for another. All yeah. right. Guard's going to go in. I'll take that 11. That's only a thousand. Oh, my bad. I can't count. You're okay. Or read. Main two. I will just set a card. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. That's a very interesting draw. I'm going to contest your tomato with my tomato. Ooh, I don't like this. And I will... I'll just simply pass it to you. So pay your upkeep cost for your fairy I'm going to pay for my fairy box, yes. I'm going to regeki your mystic tomato. Okay, all right. Bold choice there. I'm going to normal summon gravekeeper's spy. All right, aggressive. I see how it is. Okay. I'm going to swing in with everything. I'm going to take all of it. So, so this is going to be 3,600 total. Right, that is a lot. I want to put you on a clock here. Main two, I'm going to set and I will pass. Okay. Um, I'll draw. During your standby phase, I'm going to trap dust shoot you. Oh, oh shit. You get to see my hot tech too. I do. This is good. This is good for information and just seeing what you've got here. So unless you have a response. I don't have a response. So you can take a look. Ooh, the morphing jar number two. It's not bad. Okay. It's not. That's scary. That's a scary card. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to get rid of morphing jar number two. Okay. So the it goes back to the deck. Yeah. Correct. And I shuffle. Yep. Okay. Main phase one. Kind of don't want to lose, so I will set this <laughs> card. And I'll just simply pass it to you. All right. We're going to draw. Uh, stand by. I'll pay for fairy box. I guess we'll go to battle phase. If I'm correct, this should be injection fairy lily. Otherwise, you just lose immediately. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. See, I'm not that bad at the game. I can't read no. defense stats. So. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Main phase two, I will just set a card and pass. All right, I'll draw. Fairy Lily's not looking too good when you don't no, have enough life points for it's it. <laughs> definitely not looking good right now. I'll set a card and I'll pass. Okay, so that's probably the witch. Draw, standby, main. Uh, I'll pay 500 for Fairy Box, excuse me. Uh, I'll just go to battle. I'll hit over the witch. Yep, that's what it was. I'll get my witch search. I'll pick up my Jinzo. Okay. Uh, main two, I will just set another card and pass. Oh, Alex, what if you have Snatch Steel? <laughs> Oh, no. Every time I think I'm in a good spot, you just always have it better. No pressure, Gage. No pressure, I know. Well, I think I kind of have to go for it. I'm going to tribute this Injection Fairy Lily for Jinzo. That's a good card. It's all right. Um, right. I'll go Battle Phase. Ugh, Book of Moon is scary. I'm going to punch into your spy here. Okay. I do have the Book of Moon. Okay, I thought so. You're going to book my Jinzo. I am. I'm not going to be happy about that. 
Okay. I will just end my turn. The downside of that... Oh, man, do I want to pay for Fairy Box? I actually don't think I will, so I'm going to let Fairy Box go. The downside is I can't get over Jinzo. Yeah, he's a little too big, <laughs> isn't he? Yeah, so that's unfortunate. I think we're just going to have to go on the defensive here and turn everything sideways. Oh, I like to see it. I'll just set another card and pass. Ooh, okay, this I'll, is this is this is scary. I'll draw. I will start my turn by flipping up that Jinzo again. I think that's the correct move. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. And then I'm going to actually normal summon my Bazoo, the Soul Eater. Ooh, okay. I'm going to activate Bazoo. I'm going to banish two cards here. We're going to banish Tomato, Tomato. He's going to gain 600, so he's going to go to 22. I will go Battle Phase, and I'll put that 22 into your guard. Okay. And I'll put the Jinzo into your spy. Sounds good. So far, so good. I'm looking. Uh, those back row don't seem so scary. Pass to you, Duelist. We're going to draw. Just to keep track, Bazu is still at 22. I'm going to turn Mystic Tomato to attack mode. Interesting. All right. Battle phase, I'm going to attack into Bazoo. Sure. So you're going to take 800. Yep. And then Tomato will trigger. I am going to get a copy of Sangan. I'm going to crash Sangan into Bazoo. Okay. So I will take 1,200 from that. Uh, with Sangan search, I am going to grab my Exiled Force. Wow, you are doing the most to get rid of this Jinzo. I mean, I kind of have to. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and normal summon this Exiled Force in main phase two. Yep. Tribute it off, get rid of your Jinzo. Yep. And then I will pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. I think I made a bit of a misplay. I think I could have done that the turn you just normal summon Jinzo anyway. You actually had game earlier in the turn too with that Book of Moon. You just yeah. booked the wrong thing. If you would have booked guard, I would have lost the game. Yeah, unfortunately, but that's okay. Can you just stop being bad? I'm going to go battle phase. Uh, <laughs> Coming from you, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm going to go battle phase. I'm not going to use Bazoo. I'm just going to go attack you here. So Bazoo's down to 16 now? Yes. Let me take those tokens. Um, I will flip up a fairy box. Another fairy box? All right, cool. So what do you want to call? We're going to call heads like always. Keep it simple. Oh, wow. look at that. 1600 okay. to the dome. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh, I'll go main phase two. I will set two cards. Two cards? And I will pass. Oh, that's frightening. All right, we're going to draw. You're going to take your 500 for fairy box? It's starting to get dicey now, huh? It is. It is starting to get dicey. Oh, man. I actually think I'm going to let fairy box go. It's a risky one, but I think I have to do it. I am going to go ahead and mask of the accursed your bazoo. Thinking. <sighs> that's actually fine. Okay. So then I will set a card and I will pass. Okay, I will draw for turn. All right, well, let's go for the glory here. I'm going to flip up my Swarm of Locusts. Oh, shit. Yeah, and since it was flip summoned, I get to destroy a spell or trap you control. That Master of Accursed it did its work. Now, this would be a winning move if I didn't have Torrential tribute. I kind of figured you'd have the TT. <laughs> and you know what? I'm actually okay with that. So I'll lose both my monsters. And I will set a monster. And pass. Okay, we're gonna draw. Scary, scary stuff. I am going to Dark Hole. Oh, well, it's nice that I just happen to have Magic Drain and you got oh, no spells, Bucko. I'm keeping no that spells. face down. Yeah, that's pretty good. I will pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. Oh, that's a good one. This is start of my main phase one. I'm going to activate Cold Wave. Oh, that's pretty good. And I'm gonna flip up the spy and I'm gonna pull another one and go for game. You don't have that, anything. You can't have anything. I don't. Not I can't, with the cold, cold wave. No, nope, um, you got it. Man, Gage, I am just kicking myself after that. I could have won it if I just booked the right target. Yeah, I noticed I, as soon as you did it, I like, oh, you messed up there, buddy. <laughs> I know. I, plus, too, like, I couldn't even run over the Jinzo, so I don't even know what I was thinking. I was yeah. just getting tunnel vision. Now, the question is, I usually don't get to pick here, and so I don't know. I feel like going first is so good, but going second can also be very powerful. I'm going to go second. Okay. I like the extra card. Maybe going first is probably correct, but getting extra cards is I'm also I'm sure we'll good. find out here i'll go stand by main i will set three cards two spells or traps and one monster cardo and i will pass okay we're gonna draw i think i'm going to mimic your exact play oh it's just too good isn't it it is we have a lot of a uh, lot of cards now i'll simply set a card and pass 
All right, going the uh, simple approach here. I will draw as well. That's a good one. I'm going to set another monster. I'll just set another monster. Go ahead. Thrilling gameplay. I will draw. I'm just going to actually pass. Very, very exciting gameplay. All right, so we're going to go draw. I think we're going to we're going to make something happen here. Oh man, Gage, this is the intensity. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on now. I'm going to fire off painful choice. That is fine. Okay. So we get to do a little digging. I'm going to send Heavy Storm, Creature Swap, Exiled Force, Raigeki, and Raigeki Break. All right, that's an easy choice for me, I think. I'm gonna give you that Raigeki Break. Okay, we will take that. I will just set a monster and set another card. Go ahead. How are you not flipping up your Magician of Faith already? I am Maybe. scared. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. I will draw. <laughs> I will activate Cold Wave to start my turn. That's going to fetch an Imperial Order for me. Buddy. Oh, all right. You already <laughs> say that. That's too scary. Okay, that is fine. We uh, can't let that happen. No, I can't imagine. I will set two cards. I will pass. During your draw phase, I do have something. Uh, I might have something for your end phase. Okay. No, I think I'm okay. Okay, so I'm going to draw. You say you have something during my draw phase. I don't actually now. So that's oh, going to be okay. okay. During your standby so phase, will you pay standby, the upkeep of Imperial Order? I am not going to pay the upkeep for Order. Okay. So I'm going to let that go. I will go to main one. I'm going to flip up this Magician of Faith. Yeah, I figured. Uh, that's going to be okay. What are you targeting? I'm going to get Regeki. Sure. I am going to fire off said Regeki. I'm going to force you to have a spell in your hand. I do have the spell in my hand. Okay, Mass of the Accursed. So that Regeki is going to resolve, and that's going to actually hurt a lot. Ooh, I had a feeling you had some flippy boys back yeah, there. Yeah, there's some so good ones too. I just realized I made a bit of an error here, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to tribute Magician of Faith for Jinzo. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was the error. Yeah. I didn't have to. I didn't have to make you do the. Uh, I didn't have to make you do the yeah, whole magic drain again. Drain. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even realize you had it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So a bit of a misplay there. Um, I will flip up white magical hat as well. God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So we are we are going full on offense here. I'm gonna go to battle phase. Swing with white magical hat. Okay, so I'm going to take that 1,000, and you're going to actually Hit discard that. my Spirit Reaper. Oh, Spirit Reaper. That's yeah. a really good one. I'm going to just take everything. I will go to main phase two, and I will set and pass. I'll draw. It's actually not bad. I will set, and I will pass. Okay, I will draw. Oh, I don't think it's as good as my draw, though. Uh -oh. It is Pot of Greed. Oh, that is pretty good right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to find out what your set is, so I'm going to attack with Jinzo. It's Spy. So I okay. am going to activate that spy. Sure. I will pull out another spy from the deck here in defense. So you got three spies. I did. The play set. That is going to hold off my attacks, unfortunately. So not really much I can do. However, I do have the ability to fissure your other spy. <laughs> okay, there goes it. So I will just pass this. All turn. right, this draw has to mean everything. I will start by normal summoning my own Mystic Tomato. Okay. I will go battle phase. I'm going to crash our tomatoes. Crashing tomatoes. What are you up to with this? Sure. Okay. So the tomatoes will die. I probably you are so chain link one. Chain I'm one. chain link two. I can see what you grab first. So I have to summon first. I'm just going to grab another tomato. I uh, I guess I will grab another tomato as well then. Going to crash them again? <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna throw it in there again. So. Okay. Sure. Tomatoes again. S same type of deal here. I will grab Sangan. Okay, and I will pick up a I will pick up a witch. Okay. And I'll throw this witch into your white magical hat. I'm in a book of moon, your witch. My witch? Yes. That is okay. That's I guess it, so go ahead. <laughs> Show me a monster. Show me a monster. Oh, that's what we like to see. Oh, Main one. Nimble Momonga coming oh, in hot. <laughs> it's just gonna be good enough. Alright, you got it. The people off camera don't know when we were side decking, it was dead silent. Oh, we yeah. were both so into this. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, this is the best I felt. This is the first time we've seen a game three in a hot minute. I need to take it super serious. So <laughs> that being said. After doing significant 
thought during the side decking process. That's why I was so stoic. I did decide going second is going to be the right choice. Okay. Well, we're going to see if that pays off. Good luck, game three. Good luck, Duelist. Oh, this is... I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. I am going to set a monster, set one, set two. All right. And I'm going to pass the turn. All right. I'll draw. I will start my turn with a trusty looking fella here. We're going to go with Swords of the Revealing Light. Ooh. So I'm going to be able to see what this is. <sighs> you are. That is not what I wanted to see. You are going to reveal White Magical Hat. Okay. Not as scary. Uh, you're not frozen for three turns. Which is good for me. I am. Um, mm -hmm. I will set a monster. I will set two face down cards. And I will pass turn. Man, swords just throwing a wrench into my plan. I don't. Oh, that. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Swords of Revealing Light. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. I feel like I'm in an awkward position if I don't do this. So I feel like I might be in a corner here. I am going to Regeki Break. Oh, shit. Okay. Discarding Trap Hole. And I'm going to pop your swords. Okay. And then I'm going to tribute this for Jinzo. God the fucking Jinzo! <laughs> no way! All right, that's fine. All right, let's slam into this boy. Well, it's my swarm of the locust, and okay. it only gets its effect when it's flip summoned, so Correct. I'm not gonna be able to use it. Correct. I will go to main phase two and just pass. All right, I'll draw for turn. I'm not feeling too great. I had to take a pretty big minus that turn. Yeah, yeah, you took a really huge minus that turn, which I'm feeling yeah. pretty good about, I'm not going to lie. Jinzo I, locks out a lot of your stuff. You'd but think that, it's... but I do actually have the out to Mr. Jinzo. I've got an exiled force in my hand. So I have a way to stop that, I believe. You do? <laughs> what do you have? You just discarded I'm, Trap Hole. I'm going to Book of Moon your exiled force. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Um... <laughs> Sure, that resolves. It's a thing. It is a thing. That being said, I will just... Oh, yikes. Uh, I'll just go to end phase. Your turn. All right. We're going to draw standby main. I will normal summon Nimble Momonga. Yep. Um, Exiled Force has a thousand defense, Correct. right? Correct. It is public. Knowledge. Okay. So I do have to use Jinzo to slam into it, unfortunately. That's and fine. I'll just hit you for a thousand. I'll take that 1k. And I will just pass the turn. I'll draw. That is pretty good, if you ask me. I will start my turn with a riveting dark hole. Oh, off the top? Off the top. Well, no, actually I had it in my hand. Oh I'm, no, you had it. Oh, okay. I had it, yeah. And then I'll follow it up with a painfulest of choices. Oh God. I know it's yeah. not It's not looking too good for you now, is it? No, it's not. All right, uh, I gotta pick really carefully here. I'll dump Reaper, Tomato, Sangin, Witch, and a Spy. You can have the Tomato. All right, I'll take it. Not mad at it at all. I'll throw that at the tomato. Getting for 14. Yes, you will. First damage my way. All right, cool. I will go main phase two. Set, pass. Has another back row. I will... Alex, you're not looking too good on card advantage here. I'm not. I'm not, and it scares me. I think I'm just going to Fisher the tomato. Uh, oh, how bad do I want this tomato? You know what? I think I've got you locked pretty well here, so I'm going to force you to have a spell with magic drain. Good. Good. I will pass. All right, I will draw. During my standby phase, I'm going to take a little page out of your book here. You are not playing it. Fortune oh telling. my god. <laughs> uh, I saw you had it and I was like, wait a minute, that's cute. So I'm going to call monster. I'm going to assume that's what that is. It is not a monster, oh. actually. Well, I do get to see. Oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to out that tomato no matter what. I'll go main phase one. I can't wait to see that reaction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll go battle phase. I'll put in another 14. Yeah, sure. All right. I'll pass to you. Really wanted to get you to overcommit there. I think I'm just going to fire off this Regeki. Sure. Tomato goes to grave. Yeah, I will set and pass. All right. You've got no cards in your hand for fortune telling, so I can't do anything with it. I am going to ensure you don't burn me once with that I card. see you say that. You're going to keep one <laughs> card in your hand at one time, and I'm going to burn you with it. We'll so see. I'll just go end phase here. It's going to go end phase. All right. I'll draw. I am going to flip some in Gravekeeper's Spy. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to get a little bit aggressive here. I will grab another copy of Spy. Yep. I am going to... You used your Dark Hole, and that's your primary board wipe. I'm going to normal summon Sangan. 
Sure. And we'll swing in for a total of 34. Oh, God. Uh, you <laughs> thought it was going to be 34? We're going to cut that figure in half or to zero. So let's see. Okay. So let's Sangan first. Heads. I forgot I flipped the coin this time. Oh, okay. I'll take your 1,000 from Sangan. Okay. That's good. Oops. That's good. I wished it was one of the spies, but, you know. <laughs> all right. Heads always shreds. Head's just not. Oh! Sh it's not <laughs> shredding this time. <laughs> it's unfortunate that none of this matters. It's not lethal or anything. Yeah. But okay, there we go. Okay, so you, you did manage to stop one of the spies' attacks. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. I'll take my five hundred for the fairy box. Okay. That's a really good draw too. Summon Mister Tomato. That's a good one. Battle phase. I'm gonna kill one of your spies. Okay. So I will take two hundred from that. Uh, I will just go to the end of my turn. All right. We'll draw fairy box, man. The pressure's on. I'm going to switch my monsters to defensive mode. Yep. And I will set another one. Go ahead. I will draw. Did you pay for your fairy box? Oh, I did not, but I will. Uh, someone has to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex, this is rough. I can't believe you're playing my ominous fortune telling. It was hot. <laughs> not coming in clutch right now, but I'm playing it. They say um, imitation's the greatest form of flattery, so. Uh, I don't want to give you anything off that saying yet. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. I'll just pass the turn. Probably the wisest choice you could have made. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's fire off creature swap. Oh, shit. I don't have an out to that creature swap, so I guess I have to no? pick my tomato. You, what are you going to pick? What are you going to give me? That Sangin? I'm, I'm going to give you my Sangin. All right, cool. I will pick it up. And you can take yeah. my tomato. Bit of a misplay. I should have switched my sand into attack mode, but I got so excited when I saw the creature swap <laughs> that uh, it happens to the best of us. Oh, I guess it's not the worst actually, because you have fairy box. So maybe subconsciously I knew that that was correct. I'm gonna go ahead and what are the chances that this goes through? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put spine attack mode. Sure. I'm gonna flip white magical hat. Oh shit! That is. We're fine. gonna go to battle. Okay. All right. So spy into Sangan first. All right. Alex, heads always shreds. This is a very important anything. fairy box. That's a good oh. one. That's a good one. Okay. So you're going to take 600. I am. Tomato into Sangan. Oh, heads again. Come on. This one's really important. Oh, yes. Yes. Shit. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. So I get to get the Sangan search, which is what makes this so broken. I'm going to grab Magician of Faith. Okay. And then white magical hat, please. This is please this connect. will be the biggest one out of them all. And I hope to God when I call heads, it does not go through. <laughs> yeah! No! Yeah! Oh, I needed oh. that. Okay. Main two, I'm just gonna set the magician of faith and I will pass. Alright, I will draw. You gonna pay for that fairy box? I, I will. think you have to. I will. That card is just putting in work. That card has been the reason you have not lost this yet. <laughs> yes, very much so. How's that ominous fortune telling doing for you? You know, I wish it was doing more. <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> real honest with you. It is not. At least doing you're enough. forcing me to play cards. Yep. Uh, not dead next turn. That you know of. That I know of. Even that I know of, because I don't have any cards in hand. <laughs> the benefit here is that my deck is a bunch of weenies. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to have to... This is going to look weird. This is a tough choice, too. I'm going to activate a Tribute of the Doomed. Okay. I'm going to discard another copy of Ominous Fortune Telling. Ooh. You duplicates. might think I would hit that White Magical Hat, but I think I have to hit this Faith. I can respect that. That's fine. So I'm going to hit that Faith, set a card, and I will end my turn. So this is lethal if all three of these attacks can. That's what I'm hoping all three don't go through. Like <laughs> my odds are well, pretty in my favor for that. I think you also have to worry about a fourth contender. now. Shit. All right. Not what I wanted to see, but okay. <laughs> We're going to go battle phase. All right. Let's hope for the best here. Heads always shreds four heads in a row. I'm feeling it. Do you have a second fairy box? I don't have a second one. So this is all okay. in here. All right. We're going to call heads on the white magical hat. Okay. That's what I like to see. I That's what I like to see. That's a thousand down. A thousand more? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes! no! Oh, yes! no! <laughs> I am going to win on the back of your own tomato. Mystic tomato, get in there. Oh, here's a, here it is for all the money. I, either I live one more turn or I die. Heads. Come on. Come on. Yes! No! Yes! I get one more turn. This is going to be the biggest turn in the game. I'm going to go to main phase two. Oh, you're not going to attack your spy? I'm actually going to put spy to defense. Okay. I'm going to pass. All right, Alex. Here we go. The draw that means everything right now. I don't know what could happen at this point, but I want to be conservative. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Draw. 
I'm going to pay this five <laughs> for fairy box. I'm going to go main phase one. I'm going to set and I'm going to pass. That's what I like. That's what I like. <sighs> now we have to put this back in attack. I don't care. Are you are you going to go four 50 50s in a row? I mean, we'll find out here. All right. Mystic Tomato, get on in there. We got to make those oh odds a little bit more difficult God. with the second fairy box. So Okay, so any of these can kill, but I have to get through two fairy boxes on a single yep, attack. Yep, so I've got to make sure all these fairy boxes, at least one of them resolves per attack. One of them needs to be heads yes. per attack. So okay. we're all we're doing straight heads. Let's get flipping. You attack with okay. Mystic Tomato first. Yes, because I wanted to beat you with your own card. Okay, so Mystic okay. Tomato is now zero. All right. Sangan, get on in there. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right, this here's is the it. second it flip. Can, the 50 can end right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa, oh, no! yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. White magical hat. <laughs> I have right. never needed you more in my life right now. You're not even ripping a card out of his hand. Okay. 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 50, 50, 50, 50. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Yeah! No. No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I had you this round. Oh my god. Oh, good game, <laughs> Duelist. Oh my god. You want to see what the rest of my back row was? What else did you have? I had a bottomless back there. The Sangin wasn't quite big enough. Uh, and then also I had a second ominous fortune telling. No, you had the third. Dude, I had three ominous fortune telling. And I didn't realize until after you played it, I looked back and I had three of them. And I was like, oh, I am going to side this burn strategy and it's going to carry me. Unfortunately, it, it didn't do enough i needed to stick one big dude if i had spy and defense what were you gonna do uh i mean i drew this regeki break but if you had spy and defense i had nothing at the yeah. moment yeah oh man good regeki games. break definitely changed the dynamic of this how, game though I, like okay. how many did you get i got two i got one oh shit really yeah okay now to be fair you got a play set of spy i only got two okay good yeah i got two three spy two guard and that's what i was playing i also got two guard so that was what i was worried about with ominous fortune telling was that if you had multiples you can actually use multiple even though the text is worded a little bit weird um it's soft once per turn so if i let you have a single card then if you had multiples which i was kind of putting you on for the other one because you did not do anything with that other back row yeah i would be taking 1400 a turn so i just like i drew white magic hat that one turn i'm just like i have to set this because yeah. like if you you're gonna know it's a monster most likely so i'm just mm -hmm. like i have i there's no other choice i was really hoping that swords would stick around on the first turn because then i could have like flipped that swarm of locust and get a plus off of it and then like yeah. attack over a white magical hat. i was hoping to snowball from that swords but right. getting rid of it kind of sucked again i had the dark hole exiled force to be but not that jinzo which was big but that was one of the reasons why i was so aggressive with the regeki break because i saw you play locust in the other game and yeah. i'm like if you start getting those types of triggers then like i'm just gonna lose because of you snowballing it's like yeah. it's gonna just get out of hand so and it was a big minus but it actually paid off significantly. Dude, that was such a huge comeback from you this game, too. The Dark Hole blowing out your Momonga Jinzo. Oh, yep. man. I thought I had it. Yeah. What was my next um, draw? I'm going to... Oh, what was my oh! next two draws? <laughs> oh, the fire my princess God, too. dude. I would have slammed you if I would have gotten those draws. That spy would have been massive. Wow, the pot of greed off the top. Yeah, the, if you would have just gotten to spy, I would have just been in trouble. Yeah. Oh, that was actually never mind. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, that outs it. Okay, never mind. I probably would have lost. I did not get a spirit reaper. No, you didn't get a spirit reaper. I did not get a single one. So that is a very good card that you've got on me now moving forward. What else did you get? I did not get a lot from this set. I got two Fuchio Rishis. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? I got um, unbelievable. I got a um Great Dizard as one of my ultras. I was I was laughing. I'm like, at least they could have given me a Great Dizard as one yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. No, I got I got the Great <laughs> Zard, and I also got some other... Oh, I got Rope of Life. That was my other ultra. That's not a bad one, though. I had it game one, and I ended up actually siding it out because it, okay. it didn't come in clutch. Like, there wasn't anything I wanted to reborn. Discarding your whole hand, is it sucks, too, especially when I have, like, more than one card. I just don't feel good playing it unless it's on, like, Jinzo or something. Uh, speaking <laughs> of painful choice, though, I actually did end up cutting it from my main, and I sided it. I sided it okay. because I ended up playing um this, too. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. I was sure. going to let that be, like, a card that, you know, I could pitch off Raigeki Break, but also get it in the grave and just continuously get life. Well, because you have Fire Princess, too. You want yeah. to reverse burn me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I actually ended up siding Painful Choice. And I don't miss it in the main deck. Like, when you activated it, 
Like, you picked Raigeki Break. All those other cards were crazy, but Raigeki Break was, like, the clear choice that was, like, the least good out of all of them. Yeah, I noticed that because I had him I had a magician of faith, and so I wanted to just get the magician of faith targets in the graveyard. And I'm like, Exiled Force is also good because I hadn't normal summoned that turn yet. Yeah. And so I just wanted to clear that one card that you had. So that I sent like everything to clear the card, but I didn't have anything else. And so mm -hmm. I just didn't really want to get rid of much else in my deck. So I'm just like, I guess Regeki break. And so yeah, like it, it's I, I was thinking about cutting painful choice as well for that for that exact logic that you just described. But again, getting the deck thinner by five cards is just... I don't know. It's it, there's something about that that just seems so appealing to me. But I don't know. Maybe I'll take it out. In yeah, the next it episode. seems appealing too. But the thing is, like, I really desperately needed monsters at this point in the right. game. So like the fact right. that I dumped all my like searchers, like I had to get the witch saying to like give you a bad choice to pick off a painful. Like the fact that I don't like I was like missing those monsters out of my deck now really kind of sucked. Like if I would have yeah. donked a spear reaper, that would have been crazy too. What's next? What's that we got next? I think dark crisis. Is oh ne wait. Oh 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 wait. No. Is it magician's force? It's one of those two. I think. Think. It is Magician's Force. Breaker, so Magician's the Magical Force Warrior. is next. Wow. And again, just more blowout cards in that set. That's going to be why we're getting so close to Invasion of Chaos. These games are getting closer and closer. Oh, yeah. No, the Invasion of Chaos really scares me because I think a lot's going to depend on what we pull during that. Yeah, that's going to be frightening. If there's ever a point we need to implement any sort of uh, banning limitation, it might be after <laughs> Invasion of Chaos. So, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week episode uh magician's force coming up next one of my favorite sets i cannot wait we'll see you next time